What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be going over Google Ads search keyword targeting and everything you need to know about it in terms of targeting broad match keywords, phrase match keywords, and exact match keywords, and the types of search terms you can expect when you are targeting those different types of keywords. So let's get started here. I have a search campaign running. So I'm gonna open up my search campaign, which is gonna bring me to all of my different ad groups. Now, when you're creating a new ad group, so we're gonna click on the plus sign here. Now, the first thing you wanna do when you are targeting keywords for your Google ad search campaign is understand that your ad groups should be organized and you should have some idea of the different types of landing pages where you wanna send traffic to and the best keywords for each individual landing page. For example, let's just say I wanna target keywords related to TV stands and specifically farmhouse TV stands. I need to understand that I'm gonna be sending traffic to this landing page with farmhouse TV stands. As we scroll down, you're gonna see a bunch of different farmhouse TV stands for sale here. So when you're creating different ad groups, let's say I wanna target keywords related to bedding, related to area rugs, related to lighting and lamps. You wanna separate all of your ad groups and you wanna send your traffic to the most relevant landing pages. Because what you're doing when you're targeting keywords is you're actually trying to reach people who are actively searching for your products or services. So if we come in here to our ad group, let's first name our ad group and let's put farmhouse TV stands. Now when we're targeting keywords within an ad group, you don't wanna use every single different match type in your ad group. So let's first come here and let's just say we wanna enter our main keyword here and we click on enter and we do get keyword suggestions. You're gonna get a bunch of different keywords that you can target within your campaign. You can also enter a URL here, and what I could do is enter my landing page URL, and they're gonna pull keywords directly from my landing page. So what I can do here is target some of these different keywords, and you're also gonna get a bunch of ideas, for example, with fireplace, white farmhouse TV stand. So as you go through the process of actually targeting different keywords through your campaign, you can kind of get an idea of, okay, maybe this is a separate landing page I should create not only for my Google Ads campaigns, but because it's gonna help my SEO efforts as well. So as you come through here, you wanna look at some of these different keyword variations and see if any of them make sense for you to actually create a separate landing page for that individual keyword. Now, what I would recommend doing as you start targeting keywords, especially if you're not working with some large client or you're not part of a large business that has essentially an endless budget, you have some of these large companies that have no problem spending an excess amount of their budget on Google Ads. If you really need to drive that positive return on ad spend, what I would recommend doing is using very organized ad groups, making sure you're sending traffic to the best possible landing pages, and I would recommend using phrase match keywords. So there's three different keyword match types. Broad match, which if you're targeting a broad match keywords, you enter it just like this. So you're gonna enter just a keyword, there's gonna be no identifiers, and you would click on save and continue, and now this will be a broad match keyword. Now, if you're targeting a phrase match keyword, what you wanna do is put it in quotes. So for a phrase match keyword, it's gonna be in quotes like this. So what you wanna do is take that broad match keyword and just surround it by quotes. So now, what if we did submit this ad group, we would have a broad match keyword and a phrase match keyword in this ad group. Now, last but not least is an exact match keyword. So an exact match keyword you would enter with brackets around it. So you're gonna do farmhouse TV stands for an exact match keyword. So these are the three different keyword variations that you can target. And these would be each of the different keyword match types. So obviously you don't wanna put broad match like this and then have the keyword. All you need to do is enter the keyword that you're targeting. Now broad match keywords are gonna target a ton of different keyword variations depending on what you enter here. So with broad match keywords, it is gonna require a lot more testing because you're gonna get a lot of unrelated keywords within your search terms report, which I'll show you in a minute. Now what I would recommend doing is targeting phrase match keywords because what it's gonna do is it's gonna match a keyword like farmhouse TV stands, and then it will also match other keywords like rustic TV stands. So it's gonna match a lot of very close synonyms and you're not gonna get a ton of unrelated searches that people are just going in and typing in, you know, best TV stands for my living room. That might match up here for your broad match keyword. And I wanna make sure people are looking for TV stands that fit the theme of my website, that fit the actual products that I'm selling. So if they're not fitting the products that I'm selling, then when people click through to my landing page, they're gonna be much less likely to convert. Now you can also use exact match keywords, which will really limit the amount of search volume you get from your campaign, but it's gonna give you the most relevancy for your actual keywords you're targeting 
and the search terms people are typing in. Now what I would recommend doing is all you really need to do is use one keyword per ad group just like this, farmhouse TV stands, and this single phrase match keyword will match hundreds if not thousands of search terms. So you don't need to go through and add a bunch of different keywords into each individual ad group. What you can always do is add keywords later as you start getting more keywords in your search terms report, and it might give you some different ideas for different ad groups that you can create. So if you were to create an ad group farmhouse TV stands, all you would do is you would enter the keyword match type you wanna use here, click on save and continue and create your advertisements. Now obviously you would want advertisements that would match the keywords that you're targeting. So when someone types in a search term like farmhouse TV stands, they see a relevant ad and they end up on a relevant landing page where hopefully they purchase something from you. So that's ultimately our goal here. Now let's come to cancel and we're gonna leave this page and I wanna show you a couple different examples of ad groups using different keyword match types. So this farmhouse curtains ad group right here is using phrase match keywords. So if we click on this ad group or in search keywords, one of the things we can do is look at our search terms. So we're just targeting one phrase match keyword in this ad group. I've never tar targeted other keywords in this ad group. So what we can do is we're gonna click on search terms and these are all the different keywords that have matched. Now you're gonna see the main keyword that is driving impressions and clicks is the main keyword that we're targeting. What you're gonna see now is for living room, curtains and drapes, ideas, style, modern, country, country farmhouse curtains, vintage, shabby chic. So you get a bunch of these different variations and these are all very relevant keywords that I have no problem targeting within my campaign. What you might find is a keyword starts driving up your costs and it's not converting and that might be where you wanna look at actually removing that keyword from your campaign altogether by clicking on it, adding it as a negative keyword. So that's one option that you have, but I like using phrase match keywords because as you can see these search terms, especially the ones that are driving the most clicks and impressions, are very, very relevant. And again, if I'm keeping up with these search terms, you can see something down here like Walmart farmhouse curtains. That might not be a bad keyword in general for me to target, but if I don't wanna target any brands or other stores, what I could do is just come here, click on this, add as a negative keyword, and say to the campaign level, let's just remove the phrase Walmart from our campaign. Now, anybody who searches for Walmart farmhouse anything is not gonna see my advertisements. So that's one option you have as you start going through your search terms report. And this is why I like phrase match keywords. Now let's come back to our campaign and we'll come back to our ad groups. And the next thing we wanna do is we're gonna look at farmhouse bedding. And in this one, I just have an exact match keyword targeted here. So you can see farmhouse bedding and exact match keyword. We'll click on search terms. And what you see here is it's not that much different than phrase match because you're seeing exact match and then exact match with close variants. So when you are targeting exact match keywords, you're gonna also get close variants like rustic farmhouse bedding, like country bedding sets, because Google Ads identifies all of these different keywords as being very, very closely related to the exact match keywords that we're targeting. So if you use exact or phrase match keywords, you're gonna see some very relevant search terms in here. Now, coming back over, we wanna look at broad match keywords because I wanna show you, because Google Ads tends to give recommendations to people to constantly use broad match keywords in their campaign. And a lot of times they'll say, use broad match keywords to improve your conversion rate, to lower your cost per conversion, essentially drive the same or more conversions at a lower cost. So let's look at a broad match ad group that we have, and you can see farmhouse curtains broad match. Now this one I didn't run for as long, but we do have a bunch of different search terms in here. So if we come in here, the first thing you're gonna see is the search term that's driving the most clicks is actually country curtains. That has driven seven clicks and the most impressions. Now some of these other ones, burlap curtains, as we come down, one of the things you're gonna start seeing are things like this. Max blackout mystique embroidered 100 blackout rod pocket single curtain panel. Now do I necessarily wanna be targeting that keyword? Do I wanna be targeting country curtains, Stockbridge, Massachusetts, drop cloth curtains? Do I wanna target all these different keywords? Curtains Canada, Country Curtains Catalog. So some of these are not too bad, but as you come down, room darkening curtains is just way too broad to me. Now it might work to drive conversions because it might be a relevant search term and Google Ads might identify whoever is searching for room darkening curtains as somebody who would have an interest in farmhouse curtains. But to me, this is why I am still very much pro phrase match and pro exact match keywords because I just don't feel like broad match keywords gives me the best relevancy. Now for a client or for a business with a large budget that's willing to test 
it's not a bad thing to use broad match keywords because you're going to get a ton of different ideas in here. And you might find some of these different keywords drive a ton of clicks and impressions, and they could eventually become a new page on your website where you can actually improve your SEO efforts to go along with your Google Ads efforts. However, I have Avanti Modern Farmhouse Shower Curtain, so I'm starting to see some of these different keywords here. Now I could just remove shower as a phrase match negative keyword to this ad group, so that's one option you do have if you are using broad match keywords, but you're gonna find some of these different keywords in here that to me, just aren't overly related to what I am trying to target. Cheap Curtains Canada to me is not a good keyword when I'm trying to target farmhouse keywords and specifically farmhouse curtain keywords. So as we come back over here to our search campaign, one of the things that you can do if you're targeting different match types in an ad group is just do what I did. So farmhouse curtains phrase match and then I did broad match. Now I would not recommend running the same keyword in three separate ad groups. I would recommend choosing a match type, phrase or exact if you want to keep things very tight and related, choosing that match type and using it for the most part throughout your campaign. Now you can also use some of these exact keywords, for example, if I'm targeting a keyword like farmhouse decor or farmhouse furniture, because they're very broad keywords, it might make sense to use exact match keywords for some of these broad keywords, because when somebody's searching something like farmhouse bathroom decor, or maybe farmhouse living room decor, I can use those as separate keywords in different ad groups and use phrase match keywords. So that's where I tend to use exact match keywords is for some of these shorter broad keywords, because then I have a little bit more control over who I'm targeting and the types of results that I'm getting. Now you're gonna see this broad match ad group still had a very high click-through rate, so it's not like we're getting a ton of different unrelated searches here, and it's not like it's really dragging down our campaign too much. If we look over at our cost per conversion, our cost per conversion was much higher for the broad match ad group. So this would be my case against using broad match keywords. The case for it would be that you do get more volume in your campaign. So if you have a larger budget, if you're willing to test and you wanna see some of these different search terms, then use broad match keywords. But if you're looking to keep things really tight, relevant and organized, use phrase match keywords, understand where you're sending your traffic to, because if you have a very good organized campaign where your search terms line up with the advertisements that people are seeing, and then the landing pages line up with those search terms as well, what you're gonna see is really good conversion results and the best possible conversion value, which ultimately what we're all trying to drive is a positive return on ad spend. So if you have any questions about some of these different keyword match types, how to target them within your ad groups, or some of the different things you need to do to target these different keyword match types, you can also just change them right here. So you can see they recommend broad match because we're using smart bidding. Use broad match to get more conversions at a similar or better ROI. Now that may be true over the course of time. Again, I prefer to use phrase and exact match keywords to keep my campaigns really organized. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments section. Just want to quickly go over some of these different match types and how I recommend targeting keywords for your search campaigns in Google Ads. So thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.